three in four young people in these poor areas are now unemployed. Hope is thin on the ground. When you think of drugs, you don't normally think of Kenya, but this is the new normal. This coast, now the stalking ground of the drug cartels from Afghanistan and Pakistan. For centuries, this port city has been a popular destination for international traders, but it's now attracting a new kind of trade, drugs. Traffickers are exploiting the weak maritime border controls, turning Kenya into a major transit point for drugs to Europe and America. With police bribery rife for the drug barons, this is the ideal hub. Kenya is one of the most corrupt countries in the world. But the drugs are not only passing through, they are also being left behind, creating misery for a whole generation. This is a city littered with heroin addicts and there is very little help. But Murad is hoping to change things. In this neighborhood, nearly everyone uses drugs. This is Zakari. He's also known as the doctor. He brings me to meet his friends. Many of them are injecting heroin. There are more than 60,000 users on the streets of Mombasa. You know why there are people injecting the leg? Because of the hands. He has no veins. Open drug use is a common sight. He calls on the doctor to find the vein. All ears. This guy is going to do it. Because would you feel it immediately or it takes time? Yes. It's here that we meet Muhammad. So you have been taking this for 20 years? Yeah, for 20 years. He has been taking drugs since he was 15. Are there any of your friends who were using drugs with your dad? Yeah, many, yeah. Of them, many of them, many of them. Last year we lose more than four. Yeah, last year we really four went down. Uh -huh. Like me, I have hepatitis B, I can't lie. Muhammad is now lacing his cannabis with heroin. This is called marijuana. The Sawahili community, long marginalized by the government, are angry. To them, the authorities are the enemy and they claim that police take their drugs to sell them on. You see, instead of dealing with the real big fish, they come to the small fish. Why? So you're because saying they are not getting the priority right? No, they are not going to the big fish. They are, all, they are always hunting us. He takes me to meet his mother, Roshana. The drugs have affected his brain so much, he can't even remember her name. And your mom? My mom, she's called Regina Kisema. Roshan, Roshan. Roshan, 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 yeah, Roshan Kisema. She lost four of her children to drugs. Mtoto wangu Ibrahim Ahmad. Alikufwa unga. Alikuwa akitumia kwa puwa na kujidunga sindano. Sasa watoto wangu wote. Mimi sina. Later, Murad tries to encourage Muhammad to go to rehab. He's saying uh, maybe in the afternoon, maybe in the afternoon. He takes me to the center. There are only two in all of Mombasa. I used to be a junkie. No junkie can do to help her mother or anything, you see. In your mind, Murad so works with the Reach Out charity. Years. As a former drug addict, he helps them get clean. 
His boss says there is more drugs on the streets than ever before. Heroin is not planted here. It comes from Pakistan, Afghanistan, Great Triangle, Laos, Myanmar. So the, the supply is rampant. The supply is there. So it's easy, uh, for, from my own experience, it's easy to buy heroin from the street of Mombasa than to buy sugar from a supermarket. For Murad, it was his daughter who inspired him to quit. Why do you think he's not going to go back to his old life? Because now he's working, mm -hmm. he's caring about me, mm -hmm. he does everything. He, he cares about her mother, mm -hmm. he does everything. I know about my father. life. And did you believe you, he would listen to you? Yes, I believe. You believed he would listen to you? Because I, I knew he's my only dad. <laughs> and he could listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> the drug trade has got so big, the nation's president, Uhuru Kenyatta, has declared war on the drug cartels. Ships are now being seized in East African waters. These men, mostly Pakistani, were caught last year on board a ship with 350 kilos of pure heroin. I managed to speak to them before they were taken back to jail. They said they had no idea drugs were on board. I had no way of verifying what they said was true or not. We don't know about thing what's happening in the ship. We were the all new crew on this ship. We came by air from Dubai to Iran, from Karachi by Pakistan, by air from Dubai to via Iran. Then we sent this ship. When we came here, Kenyan Navy arrested us 